Hey there everybody, in this video we are going to talk about what you should consider if you're thinking about starting a new business. We're going to talk about how to really develop your marketing plan and talk about the most important things that you need to have in place so that you can have the best chance at success. So by the end of this video you're going to have a clear idea of what you should focus on to get started and really get you the tools and everything in strategy wise in place that you're going to need to be set up for success. Hey there everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon Brashears. I make daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're trying to grow your brand or your business, or if you're thinking of starting a business and you wanna use digital marketing, this is going to be a great channel for you. I create daily marketing videos here. So I talk about everything from software to website builders, to pay-per-click ads, to email marketing. I do digital marketing as an agency. So I am actually doing it. And I'm not just somebody who talks about it. I'm actually in the process of doing it as well helping other brands and businesses grow with digital marketing. So please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. So let's talk about starting a business. If you're thinking about starting a business, or if you have an idea that you wanna to take to the market, or you just have a passion that you wanna to try to monetize, you're probably in a spot where you're thinking, well, I need to take the next step, what should I do? So it can be pretty confusing and complicated, but the more simple that you make it and the better planning that you do at the beginning is going to help you to get more success later on. So I think that first things first, if you're starting out, the most important thing that you want to do if you want to be in business is that you need to have a place to sell your products. I know that sounds really easy and it's like a no brainer. Of course, I need to, you know, <laughs> sell my products. How am I going to make money? But you need to really figure that out. So um, I talked about in one of my videos, if you click the card up here, I talk about WooCommerce versus Shopify. I think that for most people, especially if you're selling a physical product, WooCommerce or Shopify will be a great way for you to do that. If you're doing a service-based business, you're gonna probably need a different kind of site um, just because you're gonna probably have more content. So it's very important to get this figured out. What are you going to sell and how will you sell it? If you can't collect money online, then you're not gonna be in business in a way that you can use digital marketing to grow. Now, it, there are, like if you have a restaurant, for example, sure, you can't collect money online, you can drive people into your business. But if you're trying to start a business where you're gonna be selling things, you need, and using an online payment processor, you need to have that set up. So make sure you set up your payment processing, make sure you have a way for people to collect, for you to collect payment from people so that they can buy what you're looking to sell. It doesn't have to be complicated though. You can make it as easy as possible. You need to think about where is your audience? What are they spending time doing? And are there places that already have customers built in that you can take advantage of? I'm gonna give you some explanation of that too. So if you have a product that, let's say you're making handmade crocheted hats, for example, right? Just picked out of thin air. No, I don't have that business or anything, but let's say that's one thing that you're doing. You're doing crocheted products. Awesome. There is a marketplace that has buyers and customers, people who are actually looking for handmade crocheted hats. It's called Etsy. So you don't necessarily have to set up your own site. You can create a site on Etsy and they will take a cut of it. So depending on what you're doing or what you're trying to grow, you don't necessarily have to create a website. Now, if you're thinking about, well, you know, I want to have my own website or you know what, that's too complicated. I'll f figure that out down the road. I think that there's a few benefits to having your own website and there's a few benefits to not having your own website and using a, a platform like Etsy, for example. If you wanna have more control over your product and your service, and you don't wanna necessarily be at the hands of Etsy, where you're basically whatever they say goes and they can shut you down, and they you're basically next to your competitors as well, then you're gonna to wanna to probably have your own website. Whereas if you're just wanting to get started and you're just wanting to sell and get your income coming in, you don't wanna worry about all the administration and the programming of the website and where it's gonna be built and the hosting of the website and you know all of these other factors, then going on Etsy is going to be the best solution for you. Now, the same thing goes true. You can sell physical products on Amazon. You can create an Amazon store. You can do fulfillment by Amazon. You can you know create a business where you don't have any infrastructure. You basically just are using Amazon to sell your products. And that's okay too. But with Amazon, there's very, very strict rules on how you can communicate with customers, if you're allowed to remarket to customers. And so if you want more control over your business, you should have your own website set up. So think about though, where are your customers? Where are they spending time? So once you have it figured out on how you're gonna collect money and what you're gonna 
be using for that. So if it's your own website or if it's going to be a marketplace that you're using, then you need to have that figured out. The next thing that you absolutely need to figure out is what is the offer going to be? What are you going to be selling your clients and your customers? And my suggestion is that if you don't have a lot of experience in selling products to people and you're just guessing what they're going to be wanting, actually go out there and try to sell this product to people and make sure that there's an actual demand for what you're trying to sell. So see what other people are doing is a great idea. And obviously, you know, you want to make yourself different, interesting and unique. And so, you know, you don't necessarily want to be just copying somebody else. You're going to want to make sure that you're actually a viable, unique player, especially if you're in a, a marketplace like Etsy and there's some more established channels and stuff where they've already got reviews and they've already got, you know, everything in place. If you just try and duplicate somebody else's work product, you're probably not going to be successful because they've been around longer. So make sure that you're, you're actually figuring out what you're going to be selling. Make sure that there's demand for it and that people want it. This takes testing. And if you haven't figured it out yet, that's okay. But you need to make sure that you're going to figure out that there's actually demand for something. Don't go out and buy a huge amount of inventory of product only to find out that, you know what, it's not really something that people would like to, to have or that people are actually interested in buying. So typically testing out inside of Facebook groups or, you know, different audiences that are your customer avatar. And if you're not familiar with the customer avatar, check out this video. It's a very, very important concept. It helps you to define exactly who you're going to be creating your, your marketing for and what you're going to be selling them, what their main pain points are. But you can get really clear on exactly who it is you're serving so that you can create targeting to see, is this audience some viable audience that's actually going to want my product or service? So once we have it figured out how we're going to sell and collect money and who, what the product is and as a byproduct of that, who are we serving by selling this product? The next thing that we need to figure out is how are we going to reach these people? How are we going to get traffic or potential customers to the different you know, channels and, and the offers that we've put out there? So there's a few things that I think you should do. Number one, content is so, so, so important. Content lets people get to know you at scale. It's how you reach out to potential customers without having to go and physically talk to them. It's like this video, for example. People that are interested in marketing and that want to grow their business with marketing, I'm able to communicate with these videos here at scale for free. I put them out and they get views and I attract people who want to grow their business with marketing. So the same thing goes for whatever business you're in. If you're in a, let's say, a landscaping business, you can do this. It doesn't matter. You can do it if you're a plumber or a carpenter, if you sell painted rocks, if you sell jewelry, whatever it is that you're doing, you can help to basically put yourself out there and um, differentiate yourself from other similar products and service providers. And that's how you can grow. So you need to create content. So figure out what kind of content you want to be creating and then actually go out and create content. My suggestion would be that you create at least something once a week just to start out with. Every single day would be amazing. And especially if you're doing uh, mediums like Instagram, or Facebook, posting every single day is so important. So you really need to get that level of context out there in front of your potential customers and clients through content and cast as wide of a net as possible. Your content should take people and segment them into potential clients and potential customers. I talk about this in this video up here. If you click the card, you can go and get more information on that. If you're thinking about starting a business, it's very exciting and you probably just want to go, but put a little bit of time in, figure out your client avatar, figure out the before and after grid. If you click this video up here, you can learn more about that and think about how are we going to approach people and what is the kind of funnel that we're going to be able to build that's going to drive people from being strangers to becoming customers in your business. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have like any kind of questions, what kind of ads should I be running? Where should I be running ads? Whatever it is, comment below. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Best of luck with your business, and I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, subscribe.